Osborne Samuel have long been associated with the work of the British sculptor Lynn Chadwick, working closely with the estate for many decades and curating exhibitions both here in the UK and abroad. Lynn Chadwick won the International Prize for Sculpture at the 1956 Venice Biennale. This was a remarkable achievement for a sculptor who was self-taught and had had an exhibiting career of scarcely a single decade. Lynn Chadwick was cast onto an international stage and museums in the States, across Europe and the UK enjoyed touring exhibitions in the wake of this success, organised by the British Council. Many museums, including the Palais des Beaux-Arts in Brussels, also purchased works from this important period of the artist's career. The leitmotif throughout Chadwick's career was the paired figures. From 1953 onwards, Chadwick developed an array of topologies whose features he inflected and interchanged. The first manifestation was conjunction, followed by two dancing figures, then encounter, teddy boy and girl, and winged figures. These were never passive meetings. In each instance, an electricity seems to arc between the figures. They circle momentarily attracted, thrusting arms upwards in ritual dance or courtship. Stephen Spender potently describes such pairings as holding up negative and positive poles or prongs through which powerful currents interflow. Among the series of dancing couples, Chadwick created Teddy Boy and Girl. This proved to be the most provocative. Teddy Boys were a real phenomenon in the UK in the 1950s, a teenage subculture predating the rockers, punks and mods. By plucking a title from popular culture, Chadwick reflected both the playfulness often evident in his sculpture and a narrowing of the distance between art and reality, a confrontation that proved increasingly fertile. Such clashes could be merely elusive in titles such as Later Alligator or Moon of Alabama, or in the case of Teddy Boy and Girl, point to imagery derived fundamentally from contemporary visual culture, and the composition of Teddy Boy and Girl suggests a joyful abandon to the music. Teddy Boy and Girl proved an important juncture in Chadwick's career. A contemporary version dominated the exhibition at the Venice Biennale, this particular work famously purchased by Nelson Rockefeller, and remains in his collection at Kaikut in upstate New York. Other examples of this theme can be found at the Royal Academy London, Museum Boymans van Berningham Rotterdam, and the Edwin Ulrich Museum of Art, Kansas. Please contact the gallery for further details about this or other work available by Chadwick. Please do also visit our website, osbornsamuel.com, to see the publication on the artist's work we have produced over many years.